Good morning, Don Lane, Fraser Valley News, your morning news update for this Tuesday, March the 24th, as uh, COVID coverage continues. Now what we are dealing with is a concern for tomorrow, which is Welfare Wednesday. And as we are hearing from a number of sources, uh, fentanyl supply, opioid supply, because ports are closed, borders are closed, nothing is getting in. And after Welfare Wednesday, a lot of those checks are spent. For those that uh, are addicted, we are very concerned about what will happen afterwards. We don't know. There's plenty of speculation. We're concerned about the pension checks coming out because seniors, can they actually get out and buy groceries, pay their rent? Sure, there is federal and provincial aid coming in, but uh, we're now keeping an eye on that situation. Uh, so here we go again. When it comes to the British Columbia funding of about $5 billion, uh, MLA, Chilliwack MLA John Martin uh, got a hold of FEN yesterday and said, uh, slow down a little bit, this is not going to be a flip of the switch. There are a lot of moving parts here, so it'll be a, a bit of time before this money actually gets to you. And the same thing with Ottawa. They have to go through all their procedures as well, although, of course, a few uh, MPs are there to try and move things along. Chilliwack Citizens for Change, got to love them. Uh, started in Italy with playing music off balconies, and then in Vancouver, 7 o'clock applause for healthcare workers and frontline workers. They tried to do that here in Chilliwack last night, and uh, we're located downtown, and we didn't hear a thing. So, what you might hear is the beeping of uh, uh, reverse horns and construction workers in the downtown core, while the major revitalization of downtown Chilliwack with Algar Brothers is now on hold, uh, they've put a stop work order up. Uh, city crews are still working. Uh, they have a contract to do because it's an essential service. They're replacing sewer work, water main work. That has to be done anyway. And so they are working overnight and have been for a couple of weeks. And they've uh, posted, and we have it up on FEN, that they will continue to do their overnight work. So they are working 24-7, a couple of 12-hour shifts. Hats off to those guys. Uh, Chilliwack uh, and Abbotsford mayors uh, in the valley saying, we're still not getting social distancing. Hint, hint. To the point where even in Vancouver, they are taking the logs off of beaches so they will force you to sit away from each other, not side by side on those logs on the beaches. Now, welcome to the new normal. Uh, other things, there are other essential services too. We talked to Rick over at Decardo's Mechanical yesterday. Uh, small garage. They're not like the, the big uh, companies. Um, they are open. Vehicles still have to be on the road to transport goods and services, let alone services and people. <coughs> Excuse me. So there you go. The other thing, too, speaking of coughing, is for those of us who have allergies and we're trying to cough in our, <coughs> cough in our sleeves, we're getting the look. You're probably getting the look. No, we don't have COVID. We have allergies. But we still have to keep an eye on everybody else. So that's where we stand right now. It is, we've said it before, we'll say it again, strange times. Stay in touch if there's something we should know about FVN at Shaw.ca. FVN at Shaw.ca. Don Lane, Fraser Valley News.